Welcome back to our lecture series based on engineering economics. In last session, we have discussed about what is economics, macronomics, microeconomics, what is engineering economics, and uh, we have also discussed about the flow of the economics. Then we have discussed about maintenance and the replacement analysis for the particular machineries and the equipments. So in this session, we will discuss about supply and demand, what is supply, what is demand, then we will go for types of efficiency and in the last segment, we will discuss about scope of engineering economics. So let us start with supply and demand. So first of all, we have to understand what is supply and what is demand demand the terms we can say that need desire want and all these demands used in same sense for the particular demand wishes but in economics there are the different terms for the wants for the desire they may be classified in two ways supply and demand demand refer to quantities of the commodity that the consumer are able and willing to buy at each possible price during a given period of time other things being equal for example a child is going to market and he has 10 rupees on his pocket and he wants to buy a chocolate which price less than 10 or 10 rupees so he can buy that chocolate easily because he has 10 rupees and he can buy the chocolate which amounts up to 10 rupees so this is demand now what about supply supply the amount offered for the sale at a given price during the certain period of time for example sales for example we can say in big billion days in the amazon and flip cards for the large amount of the discount sales we can consider in the supply but if we focusing on demand demand required the willingness and there will be required the particular possible price. If child has 10 rupees and he can buy that chocolate up to 10 rupees. But if he wants particular chocolate which price is 100 rupees, he cannot buy. As we know, child has only 10 rupees, he cannot buy 100 rupees of chocolate he can buy up to 10 rupees of chocolate so willingness and possibility the old task we can consider in demand are you getting my point demand required the willingness and possible price so if we are considering one more example a sick child need medicine we can consider as need if worker wants to go to his job with high class car it means his desire to purchase a premium car so there is the difference between needs and desire we cannot consider in one thing I hope you are getting different between need and desire, different between demand and supply. 
and the terminology particular which indicate demand. Now let us discuss in detail law of supply and demand. There are the many factors for the supply and there are the many factors for the particular demand. So we will start for the demand with demand. So first factor is income of people. As we know, in our schooling, in our college life, in our childhood, there is a limitation of the pocket money. If we are going for the corporate and we are earning the money, so there will be requirement will be high. So in that case, the income of people will be high. There will be demand will be high. So any person whose income is directly reflected to the demand. If you are earning more, your demand will be more. If any person is earning less, his demand may be less. Second thing is prices of related goods. For example, we are taking two types of cold drinks, Pepsi and Coca-Cola. Pepsi and Coca-Cola both decided for the 50 rupees of the particular 250 ml of quantity. If Pepsi is deciding to fix his price, but Coca-Cola is deciding after the certain duration, he is increasing his price 50 to 70 rupees. So in that case, we have two options for the cold drinks. Pepsi decided for the fixing of the 50 rupees and Coca-Cola is deciding the increasing his price price it means so there will be there may be chances of the demand of high for the particular pepsi and there may be chances of the decreasing of the demand for the coca-cola so prices related to goods is directly affected to the demand so next one is testes of customers i have a Example for the test. Before few years, the all are using the Nokia phone, and then after the certain duration, they are uh, moved to for the particular Android phone. So changes of the technology, changes of the test of customer, there may be less of any product demand, and there may be high. For the particular new technology of the new area for the high demand, so in that case, then we are uh, losing the uses of the Nokia phones, and all customers have moved for the particular Android phones. So this is the customer test is, and the size and compositions of population. If the high consumer customer. So there may be chances of the high demand of the particular goods and products and if the less cost population of the particular areas there may be required the less demand of that goods. And if we talk about the distribution of income, if the population has high distribution of income, it means the all peoples are earning the high amount of the money so there may be chances of the high demand because the high with the high earning they are demanding more and if the peoples are earning the less so in that case there may be chances of the demanding less so the all the factors are affecting to the demand income price test size of population distribution of income similarly if we talk about the supply so factors affecting the supplies are cost of the inputs technologies weather price of related goods time period expansion of customers government policy etc etc so these are the factors which are affecting the supply and the law of supply and demand we can say with the chart you can say with the increasing of the demand the quantity the price will be less and the 
with the increasing of the quantity supply the price will be high so there is a particular one point that will be called as equilibrium so this this common point this indicates the intersection of the demand and supply it means there will be particular price and quantity particular quantity of the price will be same for the supply and demand so you can observe with this chart with this graph now let us move to the type of efficiency as we have learned before this the many type of the efficiency the all this all efficiency are mainly focus on the physical if you talk about the technical efficiency they are only focus on the how much output how much input this is physical efficiency we can say the technical efficiency we can easily calculate output divided by input multiplied by 100 so this is a simple efficiency we are calculating now we have to understand about the productivity we have to understand about the economic efficiency you are investing the particular project how will you get the worth from that how will you earn from that it means productivity it means economic efficiency you can see on your slide the worth divided by cost multiplied by 100 you are investing the particular cost and you will get from the worth from that project with a particular plant with a particular project this is economic efficiency there may be question arise that how we can increase we can enhance that economic efficiency there are the few important points with that help we can increase our economic efficiency we can increase our productivity first one is with the increase output for the same input for example we are taking a cement production plant and we are using the particular raw material we are using the different type of the labors we are using the different type of the manpower we are have a particular plan we have a particular system but we have to observe that how we can change and we can get more productivity for the same raw material and the manpower and same area so there may be chances of the increasing of the productivity second thing decrease input and for the same output third one is by a proposed net increasing the output in which the more than the proposed net increase to input next is through the simultaneous in the output with the decrease in the input I would like to give an example for the increase in the productivity. For example, we are using the particular plant for the production of cement. If we are changing the system of the flow of the production, raw of the material, we are decreasing the transportation. If we are decreasing the transportation with the using of the raw material, which is beside to the our plant, so it means they are, we are decreasing our inputs for the same outputs and we are trying to decreasing our inputs for the increasing the outputs. This is the main goal for in enhancing the productivity of any goods and services. So this is the efficiency. So there is a difference between efficiency and economic efficiency. Efficiency is particular for the technical efficiency and economic efficiency which is related to the productivity. Now, which are the scopes of engineering economics? First one is interest formula. Second one is present worth method. Third one is 
फ्यूचर वर्थ मेथड फोर्थ एन्युअल इक्विवेलेंट मेथड नेक्स्ट इज रेट ऑफ रिटर्न मेथड नेक्स्ट रिप्लेसमेंट एनालिसिस डेप्रिसिएशन इन्फ्लेटेशन मेक और बाय डिसीजन इन्वेंटरी कंट्रोल प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड वैल्यू इंजीनियर दीज आर दी मेनी स्कोप्स फॉर इंजीनियरिंग इकोनॉमिक्स एंड लेट अस डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉस्ट एलिमेंट कोर्स वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग वी आर प्रोड्यूसिंग ऑफ एनी टाइप ऑफ दी गुड्स एंड सर्विस और एनी टाइप ऑफ दी प्रोडक्ट we required the different type of the raw materials we required the different type of the man power direct cost indirect cost so we can classified in particular two way first one is variable cost and second one is overhead cost in the variable cost we are considering the direct material cost which includes the raw material for example we are taking the cement plant and in the cement plant we can consider the limestone is a raw material if we are taking the concrete plant so in that case we require the different type of the raw material like cement fine aggregate coarse aggregate water mass plasticizer super plasticizer so that is the direct cost variable cost second thing is direct labor for transporting for providing of any uh, management for the producing the manpower is required so this is labor cost next is direct cost zol are variable cost next is overhead cost related to the factory overhead related to the administration overhead selling overhead distribution overhead so this all are affecting to the cost of the production we have considered in 